Hey, I am Emily with the Wix Collective, and today I want to take you through the process of adding an FAQ app to your website to manage your frequently asked questions. I honestly use this more often to, well, frequently asked questions is a big one, but then I also use it as like a course module list with like the breakdown of the different lessons. Let me show you what I'm talking about here. So we're going to go through how to add it to your site and how to use it. Okay, so this is the Wix native app called the Wix FAQ app. And you know me, I'm all about the Wix native apps. I love them because you don't need to have like a third party uh, account and it just, everything syncs perfectly. Love it so much. So here we've got a search bar. You can specifically look for like, okay, this is my list for the course modules for my Wix roadmap course. Here's SEO. Okay. You can type in your question and see if it's answered somewhere below. So here I've got the different modules. And then if you click the drop down button, it's going to show the different lessons within the module. So that's pretty cool. But I do want to show you. Oh man, I hope I didn't. Oh, I clicked out of it. I'm going to show you how I use this on one of my clients' sites for actual FAQs. So we're going to scroll all the way down here. This is she's selling an online course as well. We've got frequently asked questions. So these are about her course. This is what it looks like. So very interactive. Um, there's also an option. Well, I'm just going to go ahead and add it to the sample set here and then show you all the cool features that are available. Okay. So I'm just going to add a blank section. Scroll down to it, and then I'm going to go to add apps from the app store button here on the left-hand side. It's like the three little squares. Search for the app, Wix FAQ. I'm going to just go look at all the results here. Now, there's lots of different FAQs, but you want the Wix FAQ. I am so confused as to why there's 2.7 star rating on this, because... And I've looked through the reviews and they're like, it doesn't work. It doesn't work. I'm like, how does this not work for you? This works great. So don't let that scare you. Click add to site. And it's going to just automatically add it to whatever section that you are looking at currently. This is so cool. It automatically read my site theme. So as you can see, the font here matches the font here. Love it such like it's just nice you know they don't have to go in and edit it yourself all right so here you can see it's just giving like a sample faq so we've got the title here we've got different categories of faqs and then the answers question and answers down here below so just like anything with wix if you click on this and then click settings you're going to be able to change the design layout of what you see here so let's just click display you can turn the title off and on. You can turn your search bar off and on. You can also change your title here. So sometimes you would say frequently asked questions or uh, maybe like different modules in this course, really whatever. You could even show different like packages of things you offer. It just It just kind of depends really, as you know with Wix, it can do basically anything. You just gotta be creative. So now you can I'm scoot this over here so we can see what's going on. We've got FAQ, you can list FAQs with categories or just FAQs only. Oops. So you can see it took off the categories there. I recommend that a lot of the time because you can, it just creates more simplicity, but I guess it just depends on your setting, right? And then you can show which ones you want to show all FAQs, maybe just basic FAQs, general. So you can have lots of different categories and then you can put them different places on your site. So like I, for example, have the Wix FAQ app and then I have um, like FAQs on one page and then I have module list on another page. So you can manage several different categories and different lists with this FAQ app, which is so cool. All right. Okay. This is something that you need to be aware of because if you don't want it, you turn it off on each one of these. You can see here, it says Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn, and um, just copy a link. So 
if you don't want people to be able to like post this particular question on, well, Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn, whatever, take those off. But if you want them to be able to share a direct link to this question and answer, you could have a little copy link here. It's kind of awesome. So maybe keep that on if you want to do that. If you want to send people just to this question, kind of helpful, especially like if you have an Instagram or you're on social media and you're chatting with someone and they're like, Hey, what about this? You just send them a question or a link directly to that question from your FAQ page. I think that's awesome. Okay. We've got different layout options. You have the expand option. We have the classic where it lists everything at once. We have the strip where it lists like question one, question two. I personally love the expand. Do what works best for your brand and your look and your style and your user experience. App height, fit to text, choose the height. You can compact it, be regular. Okay, so this all just has to do with what you like. I like fit to text. You just play around with it and see what works best for you. Your settings, you can show one answer at a time or leave them all expanded as you open them. Um, always show the first answer. You can turn that on or off, see it, it retracts or expands. Enable scroll animation. So if you want them to like have a scroll, like a, like a disappearing effect or whatever, you can do that. App direction, right to left, left to right. I would say stick with left to right, but you never know. There's a reason why they have the two options on there. And then the design, you can change all of your fonts, your background, change a different icon if you want it to be plus. Scoot it over so you can see. That's kind of cool sometimes. It's kind of modern. So yeah, you can also change like the width of your, ooh, hmm, of your dividers. Interesting. Don't know why you'd want to do that, honestly. Oops. And now it's freaking out. <laughs> okay, that happens. Ooh, what is going on? We're just going to click out of this for a second. Troubleshooting 101. So if Wix ever freaks out on you, just go over to preview, click preview, and it kind of just gives it like a little jolt in my experience. This is not part of the tutorial. <laughs> just so happened that this happened. Okay, so now I'm going to click on here. I'm going to go back to settings. Yeah, you get to watch the actual design process. I'm going to move this up here, and we're going to choose this width to be one. Weird, weird stuff sometimes, but, you know, there's just a lot going on here in the editor. All right, let's go move on to the content portion of this. Click on your... FAQs here and click manage FAQs. It's going to pop up a little box here on your editor home screen that's going to reflect your dashboard. So you can actually manage these in your dashboard if you want to. So it's going to take just a minute. I'm going to close out of some of these windows to hopefully help compensate for some internet speeds here. You may have heard me mention this in other videos, but um, the Wix editor takes so long to load because it is such a secure connection. So take heart, it's worth the wait. Okay, so here we've got our different FAQ categories listed in the bold, and then the different FAQs listed below. So if we wanted to add new category, we could do test, FAQ. And that's going to be the one that we're going to play with today. You can move them all the way up to the top, which is what we're going to do just for easy access. Now I'm going to add a question or I could rename the category or delete. So I'm going to add a question and type in, we've got the cool little AI text feature here, kind of a cool deal. But we're going to write our question here like, how expensive is this product? Answer, this product is so expensive. <laughs> I don't know, I'm just gonna make something up. Okay, then you can add it to different categories here. We're gonna just keep it in the test FAQ. But look here, we can insert an Instagram post 
a Twitter post, a TikTok video, add an image, add a gallery, add a YouTube video, add a video, add an audio file, add a divider, and there's multiple options for what the divider looks like. Delete. We can add emojis. We can add a file to upload for them to download. We can add a GIF. We can add an event from Wix. We can add a service from Wix bookings. We can add a product from Wix stores. We can add a button to go anywhere on our site, or we can add a table. That's a lot, and that is amazing, because how wonderful is it to be like, here's my answer, and also here's a video explaining the answer further. Here's an emoji. Here is, hey, do you have any events available? I don't know. Click here at our Wix events and check it out. Amazing. So many cool features. Okay, let's click save. Okay, so there's our test FAQ. If we wanted to, we can do duplicate or copy link directly. So I showed you before in the editor where it was like, hey, here's a link to this question directly where people can share it. You can also get it. You can also get it from here. So if you copy link, you can share anywhere. Super cool. Now, if you wanted to, you can click duplicate. And sometimes that's easier if your questions look a lot alike. So then you would just make, um, I'm just going to use this. How expensive is this product? Copy. And I'm going to add a little emoji of sunglasses. This product is so expensive. Cool. We're going to name it product two. Save. If you want to take a quick peek at what AI looks like on here, let's just duplicate, generate AI text, business type, local business. This is this is all new, honestly. They just added this. Business name, business template too. Any specific questions? Yeah, this I don't I don't love this. Um oh, expensive. Let's see what it does. How expensive is basic template two? That's what the site is named because it's just like my basic template site. The cost of basic template two depends on the features and services you choose. We offer a range of pricing options to suit different budgets. To get a better understanding of our pricing, please contact us for a free consultation. Again, it's not perfect, but it might give you some ideas on wording. So it's up to you. I just thought I would give you a little peek into what that looks like so you're not scared of it and that you can try it out if you're interested. Okay, so now we've exited out of that pop-up and now you can see that we've got lots of, oops, sorry. We're gonna have to go to settings and I wanna turn off all of the questions except for the ones that we just created. Settings, no, display, yes. So I want to show FAQs only. I don't want the categories above. And I'm going to turn on two of them, the ones that I created and basic FAQs. Preview. Is this a free service? And then here's the ones I created. How expensive is this product? How expensive is the product too? It is so expensive. <laughs> So that is a little look at how you can use the Wix FAQ um, app. I would love to know if you like this app or if you're one of the people that's like, hey, this has 2.7 stars out of five. And tell me why, because I don't really understand why this is such a problem for people. I really, really appreciate this app. I think it is a great app, um, especially because it's native to Wix. So that is gold to me and totally worth it. So if you have any questions, again, as always, leave them below and I will get back to you as best as I can. And if you're interested in learning more about Wix or you want to be a part of my Wix roadmap course, basically, I'm just going to teach you how to do a Wix homepage and give you a great platform to start your Wix website. Yeah, check it out at thewixcollective.com. Yeah, there's probably more stuff on there. You never know what I'm going to be adding, but for right now, that's what I've got on there. So check it out. If you're looking for something in particular, if you want like one-on-one -on -one consultations or like a monthly coach.
coaching group where you get to ask your questions and just let me know what you want. Okay. Like I want to know this is a, this is, I want to be as helpful as possible to you all. If you have any video ideas, post them. This is not, this is not like about me. This is me making things to help people. So let me know what you think. <laughs> Thanks.